How is it doing everybody Mr Android here and guess what it's the battle between the iOS 16.1 versus the One UI 5.0 here i've got two powerful smartphones with me i have the best from samsung that is the S22 Ultra and i also got the iPhone 14 Pro Max in this video what i'm going to do is i will be comparing the two most popular operating systems and we will find out which UI offers more features and better stability whether it's One UI 5.0 or the iOS 16.1 Guys, it's going to be a very interesting video, so stay tuned and watch it till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. First, let's talk about the always on display. Finally, Apple added this much needed feature, but it is exclusive to iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. So, if you don't have the latest iPhone, then you don't get this feature. Now to activate the always on display, all you need to do is go inside the display settings and then turn on this feature. Sadly, you don't get any other customization options and the only thing you can do is you can enable or disable the always on screen. When it comes to Samsung, not only you get this feature on any Samsung device, no matter whether you're using a flagship or a mid-range phone, but you also get a lot more customization features. You can decide if you want the always on screen to show always, show as scheduled or show only when you receive notifications. You can change the clock styles, add stickers, you can even apply different themes by simply downloading them from the Galaxy Store. And the most useful feature is you can control the brightness of the always on display. Now let's talk about our sponsors for today's video. So the guys over Castify were nice enough to send few of their bounce cases to look at. Not only Castify has beautiful collection of cases for your iPhones, but all of their cases offer amazing protection and they are drop tested to make your brand new iPhone gets the kind of protection it deserves. We all know how expensive these iPhones cost and if you drop them, the cost of repairs will put another huge dent in your pocket. So the best thing you can do to protect your brand new iPhone 14 is to put it in one of these bounce cases from Castify. With a new Echo Shock technology, these bounce cases have 21.3 feet of drop protection and 6 times military grade, which means it has been drop tested for more than 150 times, which is absolutely mind blowing. As you can see, the corners get extra bit of protection. Since when a phone falls down, the corners are most likely to be impacted. I also like how buttons feel on this case. These are super satisfying and clickable buttons. The best part is all these beautiful cases were made out of recycled phone cases, which actually impresses me and I just love how Castify thinks about the environment. Guys, you can head over to their website and choose from the endless options they offer. They make cases for iPhones and other Android devices as well. So make sure to check out from the link in the description below and don't forget to use our promo code to get 15% off on your order. Next, if you talk about lock screen, both Samsung and Apple offer similar customization options. In Samsung phones, you can change the entire way how your lock screen looks. You can customize your clock, add different widgets and you can add some of your favorite applications for quick access. When it comes to iOS 16.1, not only you get all the customization options, but they have added an amazing feature called live activities. It's a brand new feature that helps users to stay on top of things that are happening in real time. With this feature, you can stay up to date with live scores. You can track your food deliveries directly from the lock screen, even without the need of unlocking your smartphone. I think it's a really useful feature and I wish Samsung brings something similar to this in the upcoming One UI 6. Moving on to the home screen, here is where Samsung is way ahead than the iOS 16. We have the new and improved color palette. Now you can select more colors and this gets applied to all your app icons and it even changes the accent color which looks really really nice. Honestly, I just love the material hue theme options that we get in Samsung phones and this year they have also added the stackable widgets, something which was missing in Android phones but now with One UI 5, you can stack widgets similar to what we have in iOS 16. On the other hand, Apple is still using the same icons and even though you can add multiple widgets onto your home screen, I would still say iOS is getting boring when it comes to home screen customizations. We don't get as many features as we get in Samsung phones. Apart from this, I really want to talk about multitasking. Even though the iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with a bigger display, it doesn't allow you to open multiple apps at the same time since it doesn't support features like split screen or pop-up window. So what's the use of having such a big display? When it comes to Samsung, not only it supports all the features, but with One UI 5, they have added this additional two fingers gestures by using which you can quickly launch multiple apps at the same time. And if I just swipe from the corner like this, it opens that app in a pop-up window. 
I think these features are super useful and it definitely improves your multitasking experience. Both softwares let you extract text from pictures and screenshots, but iOS takes it a step further by allowing you to extract a subject from pictures background by simply long pressing them and then you can paste it anywhere you want. I think it's a really cool feature and I really wish to see something similar in Samsung phones. Next, if we talk about navigation gestures, in Samsung you always get the option to choose whether you want the gestures or navigation buttons. So it's totally up to you. You can select whichever is more convenient. In iOS 16.1, you don't get any such options and you have to stick with the default gestures. Honestly, I still prefer the Android gestures and I think they are more convenient than the iPhones. Apart from this, if I open the recent menu, here you get this close all button that helps you to close all the apps at the same time. Sadly, you don't get this basic option in iPhones and you have to manually close all the apps one by one. Next, let's talk about the settings menu. Apple is keeping the same style and you won't see any difference when it comes to iOS 16.1. But I think One UI 5 looks more clean because of these rounded icons and there is also a separate app section that shows all the applications you have in your phone. In my iPhone 14, if I scroll down, you will see all the applications right in my settings menu which looks cluttered and it doesn't look nice. Finally, let me show you some animations. I think both iOS and One UI has some beautiful animations, but I still prefer iOS 16.1 because the animations are much better and smooth. Guys, I've already made a dedicated video comparing the animations, so if you haven't already, then do watch that video. I'll make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. Apart from this, One UI has some more advanced features such as Bixby routines, Dex support, and we also have an app called GoodLock that helps you to customize your Samsung device like a pro. Overall, I think One UI 5 offers more customizations and it is filled with some amazing features that will make your smartphone using experience a lot better. While the iOS 16.1 is clean, easy to use and I would still say you will get more polished experience using an iPhone. Well, definitely Apple added some really nice customization options but still it lacks some basic and useful features. So that's pretty much it for this video. You guys let me know in the comment section which UI do you prefer whether it's Samsung One UI 5.0 or iOS 16.1. And if you guys liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.